God. Over the past 82 months, a rapper by the name of The God Fahim has released over 100 albums and EPs. Just for reference, since he released his first project in May of 2015, the entire roster of Top Dog Entertainment has only released 20 projects. The entire Wu-Tang Clan, all nine living members, have only released 24 albums. And the big three of Griselda, Westside Gun, Conway, and Benny, who are known for dropping more music than practically anyone in the game these days, have released only around 65 projects combined. So when I tell you that the God Fahim's work ethic is unmatched, I mean it. The Dump God, aka the 100 Tape Legend, is the hardest working man in hip hop, and he's giving us one of the most prolific runs of quantity meeting quality in music history. The God Fahim was born in Ohio, but grew up in Chicago and Colorado before settling in Atlanta. He got his first taste of hip hop in elementary school, when his older brother used to wake him up by blasting Young Jeezy, but it wasn't until he got to high school that he really fell in love with hip hop as a culture. Fahim is a student of hip hop history. He says that he went back and studied the careers of all the hip hop greats, and you can hear that in his music, whether that be through lyrical references to classic songs, visual homages in his album covers, or just the way he carries himself. He definitely employs a throwback New York style, but his sound fits right in with the drumless underground movement of the past half decade. Fahim is one of those artists that I could listen to for hours and never get tired of his music. He has literally thousands of verses, and they offer a great mix of knowledge crossed with some classic old school wordplay. Imagine Lord Finesse level similes and punchlines crossed with the voice and knowledge dropping pen game of Sadat X. And on top of that, he has arguably the best ear for beats in the world right now. He gets beats from some of the best producers in the underground, and even does a lot of producing himself. He learned to produce from a group called The Freshman out of Chicago. And since then, he has mastered the craft, producing for many artists including himself, Makami, Yoro Drug, and even West Side Gun. In fact, Fahim used to roll with Griselda way back in the early days of the label. Early in his career, before he became the supreme dump legend that we all know now, Fahim was working as an apprentice at a barber shop cutting hair. One of the patrons of that shop happened to be West Side Gun. The two would become friends, and one day Gun gave Fahim a ride home, only to find out that the two were next door neighbors the whole time. Fahim started out by producing for the crew, but when he wanted to start rapping, that's when he started to split apart from Griselda. A riff was created between him and Gun when he was upset that Gun wanted to charge him for a verse. They have since reconnected, but that original split sent them off into their own distinct paths. With the split, Makami decided to take the side of Fahim, and the duo split off to create their own movement, becoming dump legends along the way. The word dump is probably the most important word in Fahim's career. Whether you call him the dump god, or the dump goat, or the dump legend, Fahim is the leader of this movement, which has given us some of the best underground rap albums of all time. Aside from the dozens of other projects Fahim has dropped during dump season, there are upwards of 20 dump god projects, featuring additions from Al Davino, Your Old Droog, Heem Stogied, and Ma Kami. Fahim's collaborative partnership with Makami is one of the best in the business. Their rap styles complement each other perfectly, and they bring out the best in each other. I mentioned this in my mock video, but their sound together reminds me of a young Q-Tip and Fife Dog, or most deaf and Talib Kweli, with one member of the duo bringing the melodic, thought-provoking, abstract lyricism, and the other cutting through with their higher voice and energetic wordplay and delivery. Aside from features and production credits on each other's records, they have released a number of collaborative projects over the years. The Dollar Menu Trilogy is the duo at the top of their game, with all three editions releasing in 2017, when each rapper was releasing an onslaught of the finest music in the genre. My favorite song in this trilogy is Nardwar. On this track, Fahim unleashes four or five different rhyme schemes and flows within his one verse, transitioning between them effortlessly. Fahim constantly is trying new flows and rhyme patterns, running laps around where most rappers find the pocket. I know that his delivery might not be for everyone, but I love how he leaves little room for nuance. His lyrics are right on top of the track, cutting through the beat with some lyrics that'll make you laugh and some that'll make you think. Throughout his whole career, it seemed like people would always doubt Fahim. They didn't think he'd be a good rapper, they thought he was releasing too much music, but if one thing was clear, it's that the god Fahim has known his worth from the start. He was right there with Makami as some of the pioneers of artists making their own price for their music. TGIF is one of Fahim's best projects, and that's the joint where he realized that his art was good enough to change his whole model of how to give his fans the music. He addressed this in a 2017 interview with the journalist Sincere, saying, Hip hop is a new thing. We're all living in a new age where certain ground hasn't been touched yet, and certain things haven't been tried yet. There's rules in place, but that's their rules. That's the rules that they go by. 
It's time for some new rules that ain't got shit to do with how they've been doing it. Because we as the artists are the ones who have the power. As independent artists we have to ask, how can we progress our careers when we're only dropping one project a year and we're still on the rise? If we're trying to build something, we gotta keep hitting them. The game is changing and it ain't the same. I feel like it's about to be a whole new era of hip hop, and I really haven't been conforming to any of the other rules that they have in place. That industry shit. It's garbage. Around this time in the video is where I usually go into detail about all the major releases of the artist. But naturally, I can't go through every single Fahim album, so I'm just gonna go through a few that I think are the God Fahim's essential listens. His very first album released back in 2015 is called Shadows Over Nazareth. The God Fahim came out the gate swinging, with the first verse of his career on the track Shogun, with a fast flow that feels like he's spitting for survival. This album makes Fa seem like he's a lone samurai, fighting against a sea of opponents, switching up his rhyme patterns like a samurai switches his sword style. A lot of Fahim's albums are heavily inspired by old samurai movies, anime, and martial arts in general. In real life, Fahim is actually a trained martial artist, having trained with legendary karate masters who have worked with the likes of Bruce Lee. So whenever he raps about fighting or the ways of a samurai, you know that he means it to his core. He continues this trend on the tragedy of Shogun. It features 12 tracks of straight bars over velvety production from Sadu Gold, Camouflage Monk, and more. Featuring two classic Makami verses and a bunch of great verses from Fahim in one of the most consistent albums in his discography. The Ineffable Conflict of Roosevelt Creek is a dope project because it gives us a good variety of tracks. Featuring one of Fahim's best love songs with Think About You, some great sung Makami hooks on Paper Cuts and What's the Matter, and a rare concept track in Eat to Live where Fahim essentially gives a PSA about eating healthier. Fahim oftentimes preaches about being a better person in his raps, and it never comes off preachy, but almost inspirational, sort of like a motivational speaker. Songs like this are something that most rappers would never try to tackle, but Fahim is never afraid to get real and spread some positivity. TGIF is a must listen, easily one of the best projects of his career. This one was released way back in 2016, and it's kind of weird hearing Fahim shout out Griselda a couple times on here. More than any other project, this one feels like it has the highest chance to be looked back upon as an underground classic someday. It's produced entirely by Fahim and executive produced by Makami himself. This is some of the most refined beats and most focused lyricism of Fahim's career. Yellow 5 is my favorite track on here. Fahim just unleashes on the mic, ripping an unforgettable verse, switching his flow a couple times, before spending the last minute of the track going on a rant about chemicals in people's food. And to me, that's the perfect metaphor for Fahim's music. He doesn't put preservatives in his music to make it more accessible to people. The listener has to meet Fahim on his terms. It's completely organic and not watered down at all. The other contender for the best Fahim record of all time is my personal favorite, Wide Birth. This is another one executive produced by Makami, and the duo did an impeccable job. This was the very first album I heard from either of them, and it immediately made me want to dive deeper into the underground scene and find more future classics like this one. It's only 25 minutes, but it's all killer and no filler, with 8 tracks of production straight out of Heaven's Gates, and Fahim giving an all-time performance, sounding hungrier, more introspective, and more confident than ever before. Now there's a lot of other projects that I could highlight, but with this last one, I want to focus on his 2020 album Lost Kings. This might be his most palatable album to a new audience. By this point in his career, he's a better songwriter, really showcasing that on some of the hooks here. This album features a great opener from DJ Muggs with Iron Fist, two more great mock features with Blade Forge and Playground Legend, as well as Scarlet Murder which features Vinny Paz, who is one of Fahim's biggest inspirations, in a song that feels like classic Jedi mind tricks. The production overall is more aggressive and lively than the usual mellow soul loops that Fahim uses, and this album gives us the song Renowned, which features probably my favorite Fahim flow and hook of all time. In the last 12 months, Fahim has released about 8 or 9 projects, which is crazy, because some rappers from the 90s with 30 years careers only have 9 albums to the name, and Fahim's last year still felt slow somehow, for him. He's given us so much music in such a short period of time, that if he did sit back and take a few years off, his fans would still have plenty of great music to rediscover. He has become one of my favorite artists of all time, and if I know one thing from watching Fahim over the years, it's that dump season is always approaching. Thank you for watching everybody. The God Fahim has been the number one artist that has been requested for me to make a video on, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what is your favorite Fahim album, 
I know there's a lot of Fahim haters out there, but this channel is a hate-free zone, so leave that negativity to yourself. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm always talking about music, and sometimes I'll take polls and ask questions for upcoming videos. A special thanks to all the amazing producers who provided the beats for this video and all my videos. I always put the links to their music in the description of the video, so make sure to check them out. And if you're a beat maker yourself and want to send some beats for my videos, my DMs are always open. I recently just hit my one year mark on YouTube and I really appreciate all the support from everyone. I'm hoping to pick up my video schedule to hopefully get more out there for you guys soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.